So we talked about uh, decision making and uh, now let's look at why investments in IT does not always produce positive results uh, when it comes to decision making. First reason is information quality. So you might have heard this garbage in, garbage out or good information in, good information out, right? So this is what we call it uh, based on the quality of the input information that we put or based on the quality of the information uh, that we input, we will get uh, quality output, right? So uh, when it comes to quality, it refers to integrity, accuracy. Is this information accurate or wrong? Is this uh, information timely, meaning we have it when we need it? Um, is this uh, information complete? Is it is it not missing any uh, parts of the information that we need for this decision? Is it consistent? Is it the same no matter where we find this information? Um, so information quality is is important uh, when it comes for decision making, right? And then uh, management filters. So we can have the best facts, the best information that we need for decision making. But management or managers might be biased, you know, uh, and they reject information that does not confirm to their prior conceptions and beliefs, right? So um, that, that's another uh, problem, right, with, with uh, investing in IT and expecting that information to be useful to managers. But it might be the managers themselves that they are deciding not to use that information because of those biases. And then organizational inertia and politics. So politics, which is struggle for power. So uh, some managers might not utilize this information that is produced by information systems for their decision making. And instead, they weigh their options based on politics and the power struggle. So they one might decide to make certain decisions so that way they don't displease one of the other managers or which might uh, maybe threaten losing their jobs. So high velocity automated decision making. So when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to uh, high velocity uh, automation, which are based on algorithms based on uh, programming, uh, so the, the decision making process, which starts with intelligence, design, choice, and then implementation is already embedded in those algorithms or in, in this high velocity automated decision making. So example of that, where humans are taken out of this decision, right? So now that decision process is already embedded in those algorithms and humans are not involved in this decision. And examples of those uh, high velocity automated decision making includes Google search engine, right? When we search for a term, for example, Google searches several websites, thousands if not millions of websites in order to uh, return that information that we want, right? And, uh, and it already goes through intelligence, through, uh, Again, the, the 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 design, and then uh, choice, and the implementation, right? Um, and then another example is the high-speed computer trading computer uh, programs. This is in the stock market. Those decisions they need to be made within nanoseconds, very quickly, and automation can actually uh, help us with that. Um, uh, on the other hand, those decisions, they require safeguards or, uh, to ensure that proper operation and regulation. So again, the managers, they need to uh, review and, 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 uh, those decisions because, my, uh, again, automation might, might involve some ethical issues that we want managers kind of to review, uh, make sure that they are meeting what we want them to do. <coughs> So business intelligence, what does business intelligence mean? We have actually talked about business intelligence in the past, but it refers to the infrastructure for collecting, storing, analyzing data produced by business. And it involves tools such as databases, data warehousing, data marts, Hadoop, analytic platforms that we have taught and used in the past in this class. 
So business analytics, on the other hand, so the business intelligence, you can think about it as the descriptive analytics, descriptive statistics, telling us what has happened in the past. As for business analytics, it involves tools, techniques for analyzing data, including all up online analytical processing, statistics, models that we did, predictive models, classification models right, that we did uh, in, in, the, in this class earlier. And then data mining, we talked about uh, supervised and unsupervised mining uh, last week about, uh, in, in, in about business analytics. And again, business analytics or intelligence vendors uh, and business analytics vendors include Oracle, SAP, IBM, Microsoft, SAS, right? And um, they are the ones who define actually what business analytics and business intelligence is uh, is meant to be. So <clears throat> the business intelligence environment uh, has six elements, um, uh, which include data from business environment. So this includes structured and unstructured data that uh, from different sources within the organization and and then we have business intelligence infrastructure which includes databases warehousing uh, data mart right and then we have the business analytics tool sets which includes software tools such all up data mining <clears throat> and then managerial users uh, and methods so let's look at actually this graph here summarizes what we really mean what each one of those components involve so data from business environment includes data from call centers, from website, from uh, social media, stores, suppliers, right? All of this data then is stored or organized in a database or in a data warehouse, data mart, analytical platforms. And then based on that, you know, on this data warehouse, data marts or databases, we can do some business analytics uh, or use uh, business analytics tools such as predictive models, classification models, uh, data mining, which is again supervised and supervised, or lab uh, reporting and query tools. And then all of this is through the managerial users methods. So we need to have methods such as business strategy, performance management, balanced uh, scorecard, forecasts, right? And again, we need to use platforms such as MIS, which is management information systems, decision support systems executive support systems mis we talked about it in, in chapter uh, actually about those systems we talked about them in chapter uh, chapter two where we define management information systems as a system that integrates data from different parts within the organization so that way we can um, do analysis based on that so then user interface, which is a data visualization system like Tableau or Power BI, where we can have reports, dashboards, scorecards, uh, and that can be compatible with desktop, mobile, uh, web portal, and social media, right? So uh, then we have business uh, analytics, or actually the, the what is the goal of business analytics and, uh, and uh, or business intelligence and analytics capabilities? They help us actually deliver accurate real-time information for decision makers right and the main analytical functionalities of business intelligence systems include production reports so for example what is the performance of our salespeople? what is uh, our forecast for sales right just uh, as examples and those are some examples of the production reports service center for example customer satisfaction service costs, resolution rates, churn rates, just an example. And then parameterized reports. So those are the reports where we can use filters, right? So uh, for example, uh, uh, Starbucks, or we, we actually use an Excel the slicer for this, right? So, um, or, 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 uh, so for example, here Starbucks conducted analysis about their coffee sales based on regions and uh, the 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 day um, or the time during the time of the day so they they found out that actually their stores in the east region of the united states are more concentrated in the mornings so in the east coast the sales of coffee is concentrated in the early mornings 
On the other hand, on the northwest side of the United States, regions of the, of the United States, the sales is consistent throughout the day. So based on these reports, Starbucks can customize its ad campaign based on this finding. Uh, and then we have dashboard. So you have already used Tableau that we uh, we did in this class. The ad hoc query you already ran, and you are able to run some SQL uh, queries, which are ad hoc queries, right, uh, to retrieve information. And then drill down. That's where we have, for example, an overall summary, uh, and then you go into more detailed summary uh, uh, details. Actually, for example, we have we figured out that sales in the west is more concentrated in the early morning but we can drill down is that everywhere is that suburbs uh, and uh, outskirts or is that uh, only in downtown so we need to to uh, drill down to, to see where that high demand in the more early morning is and then uh, we use forecasts for uh, linear forecasts, uh, what if analysis scenario cases, right? We use predictive models. <coughs> and so for predictive analytics, we use a variety of, we already did this actually in this class in the hands-on exercises where we, uh, uh, we use statistical analysis, data mining, historical data, and, um, and, and assumptions. So we, uh, incorporated numerous business intelligence applications and also uh, use cases so for example we use predictive models to uh, for to detect detect frauds for example or healthcare insurance companies they use that to predict patients who are going to be high cost so that way they can customize or uh, modify their charges so big data analytics when we talk about big data analytics we are referring to massive data sets collected through social media online and store customer data and the purpose of this big data is to personalize shopping experiences for major online retailers right uh, just as an example and why do we want to personalize shopping experiences for our uh, uh, customers because personalized shopping experiences increase sales and help actually with customer retention so those are very important because they help the bottom line or profitability of our, of our companies so smart cities also they use big data they use sensors they use internet of things they use in order to um, make their business uh, processes more efficient for their citizens of their localities Operational intelligence, what do we mean by that? We mean by operational intelligence is business activity monitoring, uh, tracking and monitoring the business activities. And it is done through the Internet of Things, which is through sensors, right? And, uh, <clears throat> and those Internet of Things refers to data that is collected through sensors through the Internet, right? Uh, so, for example, your, your house garage can be uh, controlled for example or from from your uh, phone or for example your your car uh, air pressure there are sensors in your car in your car wheels when they sense that the air pressure is going low you will get a warning in your dashboard uh, in your car so this is a some of the examples of internet of things that are used uh, daily one example that uh, is used uh, by tracking uh, trucking companies such as Schneider National is to to track and monitor their drivers behaviors or they track uh, the prices of gas throughout the highways that their drivers go through so for example they recommend that they fuel in a gas station where the gas price is reasonable and they already know and they give them recommendations where they should stop by to refuel just some of the examples of that and then we have uh, location analytics and geographic uh, information, geographic information systems. So they are location analytics. Um, they are based on mobile phones, sensors, map data. And geographic information systems are very helpful for organizations. So for example, HEB or Starbucks, they use geographical uh, 
GIS systems in addition to demographic data, economical data, to decide where to locate or build their stores, right? So this is very helpful for organizations.